Hi, this is Ming. Today I'm going to introduce FE rear couplets. So last time I introduced the rear structure, and it turns out that this structure is, useful, is very useful in other scenes, such as fog. So what's the difference between fog and pool? First, there is fog in the front, so we're going to use planter to light up the thing. And second, um, there's no sun falling from the sky, but we have six sunflowers. That should be enough. And third, and more, most important, is that uh, you don't need coffee bean to use mushrooms. So, you know, the time for the coffee bean to activate the mushroom is two seconds. So at night, we should delay our mushrooms by two seconds to achieve the same timing as what we have in pool. And for imitator eyes, it's a, lot, it's a little more complicated because the time for imitator to imitate is 3.2 seconds, which is more than the coffee bean. So if we put the imitator eyes immediately when we hear the zombies spawn, then the eyes is going to freeze the jack slate. So we have to prejudge the imitator timing. As you know, a, a doomstream is, is almost guaranteed to, to ensure the next wave will spawn. So we can put the imitator eyes uh, we can prejudge the timing of the imager eyes after using Doom, approximately like two seconds after we see the Doom explode. Then we put the imager eyes uh, that will freeze the jacks in in the proper position. Uh, I will go over the indications of the timings later. And also, I'm going to introduce a concept called DPS level, also known as IO level. Mm, this is used to quantify uh, our the strength of, of our plants against the the gigas. Uh, so you've probably heard that um, I say like on row one you need to bomb gigas twice and the plants will automatically kill the gigas and on row two maybe bomb them once um, and now I'm going to quantify that. So we divide gigas into four health states. So a full health giga is a four health giga and once they're bombed uh, their health decreases by one. So four health if it's bombed once then comes a three health, two health, one health and then it dies. Mm. So uh, the DPS level measures uh, the number of health of the gigas that our plants can automatically kill. For example, on row 1 here, we need to bomb gigas twice and then the plants will do the job. So translated to the health to the DPS level, uh, we have will have like level 2 DPS because we can we are able to kill a 2 health giga automatically. So we bomb gigas twice and then let the plants do the job. And on row 2, what is the DPS level? It's level 3, because we only need to bomb gigas once and then the plants will kill the 3 health giga. And then let's go over the major and minor threats of this setup. So the major and minor threats are basically the same as one cob suppression because we have a similar structure, but we don't have a cob. And let's look at jack first. So as I said before, the jacks, we just use doom or ice or cherry jalapeno to either bomb them or freeze them. Uh, so like here, because we don't have a cob, we're going to have cherry and jalapeno to suppress the jacks. So that's why I don't ladder row two and five. Uh, for slow tempo, uh, the tempo is typically going to be within card three. So we'll use doom and then prejudge the emitter ice and then ice. So that's our jack suppression sequence for slow tempo. And if something spawns early, uh, after the gigas disappear, because after the gigas disappear, the tempo may, come, may become faster, we're going to use cherry and jalapeno to burn the jacks on row 2 and 5. And on row 1 and 6, the fumes are going to do the job. So that's for jack. And for giga, mm, because uh, it's night time, so we can use doom more frequently. And almost every giga here will be bombed at least once by doom. But, um, Remember on row 1 and 6, we need to bomb them once extra. So I would prefer to use squash on row 1 to bomb the, the gigas, and cherry on row 6. So I will use cherry after ice. So to hit the gigas on row 6, and also uh, activate a new wave to spawn, so that like I can use doom immediately after. So I will wait for doom to about to recharge, and then use cherry, uh, and hopefully the next wave will spawn uh, pretty quickly after this and then I can use doom So that's the sequence for giga and uh, In real gameplay, you don't have to strictly follow that sequence you, you can for example if there's no giga on row one You can use squash on row six and you can like flip the, the cards 
just make sure to bomb the Gigas uh, twice. And like even if you don't bomb the Gigas twice, that's still okay. So for error tolerance, you can add an extra buffer fume in the very front uh, to further damage the Gigas. So you can you can kind of like combine with push room, you can stall the Gigas to level 3 DPS. So you only need to bomb the Gigas once and just keep stalling it. And with the help of this buffer fume, it will pro probably die before reaching that pumpkin here. Um, and the buffer fume, it also helps uh, speeding up the tempo. Because for slow tempo with Giga, the tempo is typically card, three, uh, card 2. And to play card 3, we want the tempo to be slightly faster. So the buffer fumes help doing that. Okay, now let's apply our, our ideas into a slow tempo gameplay. So we have a cl classic slow tempo. And by the way, like I didn't introduce the minor threats, but they're basically the same as one cop suppression. So just the Gargon Taurus, Zomnies, and footballs. Uh, slow tempo, we begin with Doom. Add the buffer fumes. One, two. So we add a fume stream in the very front as buffers. And also, a good time indication of whether you you time the ice well is that like if you freeze the dancing zombies before they spawn their backup dancers like this, uh, then that's a, a good timing. And like, so the, the, the dancing zombie has already like turned, turned their bodies, but have not yet spawned the backup dancers. So if they are still like going backwards, then your timing is too early. And then like, if like the backup dancers have already come out, your time is too late. But like as long as you time it like within 0.5 seconds of the actual perfect timing, that should be fine. Yeah, like that. See here? So we add a buffer fume in the front and then we add a puff in the in the front again to protect the buffer fume. Because the buffer fume can typically protect itself from zombies and footballs. And the goggles first we just stall them. So you executed the Doom Ice Ice Temple. And whenever we see the team about to recharge, we can put the Cherry Bomb. So when using Cherry Bomb, I, prior I will prioritize row column 7. But if column 7 is not available, I will put it on column, column 6. And Doom. 1, 2. So uh, when the Imitator Ice, be sure you have safe spots for it. The Bad Giga has just died, so I'm pretty sure I can put it here safely. Like that may smash, but yeah, that ice may be timed too early, but if you feel unsafe, you can show that fume and put ice. But since I, I am pretty confident to the limiter ice not being smashed. So I will use squash on row 1 and then uh, Cherry on row 6. A few has died. Squash. Because that Giga hasn't thrown out its imp. So it won't have a scar on its head. And I was worth squashing. So it dooms now. I doom uh, as long as you time it like 4 seconds. Uh, as long as like it's before 4 seconds after spawning, it, it's okay. So just continue to execute our Doom Ice Ice Temple. Uh, for the first half, like it shouldn't spawn early because there are Gigas. The Gigas, if there are Gigas, the Temple should lie around card two, not card four. So our card three plus uh, Cherry Bomb should be a pretty stable sequence. And then after the football is done, I'm going to squash row 1. Because those gigas don't have a scar. And then that's the wrap up, I guess. Both. I'll wait for the most of the gigas to come here. And then cherry. And then doom. For immature eyes, if you see the, a lot of Gargantor is not frozen, not slowed down, you should put the immature eyes. But now, like, they're pretty... They're all slowed down, so I'm not going to put it. So on row 1 here, are there Gigas? No, they're all normal Gargantors. So I will put that squash on row 6. 
squash the remaining Gigas now hit the cherry bomb. Stall here. Now I freeze the bungees. But since there are none, I'm only freezing the jacks. Uh, for the because the second fast have when the, after the gigas disappear, the tempo may become faster. So I'm hesitant to put a, an, an extra buffer fume here. So maybe I, I won't put it to play more stably. So for the second half, you don't want the buffer fumes after the gigas disappear. Doing plus ice. You can see here, I, I cannot see any Gigas here, so that should be a right choice. Stall here, probably. On row 6, I'm reluctant to use to use uh, Cherry Bomb. I want to like use Puffs to, hit, uh, to, to like stall the Gigas to level 3 DPS, and also that Buffer Fume before. Those Gigas are squashed, so I'm not worried about them. You can see I've already stalled these Gigas, like, these 3 health Gigas to death. Now Gigas are disappearing, you can see now now there are no Gigas in the scene. So just Doom and Ice. And meanwhile we can put the buffer Puffs. Because the Puffs rooms, they won't do deal damage to the zombies behind. They'll only do the damage to the uh, footballs and garden floors in the very front, so I, I would uh, prefer push room instead of fume room. And after the gigas disappear, the tempo may go up to card four. In that case, oh, that ice is too late because of the backup dancer is already coming out. In that case, we'll insert the cherry jalapeno wave, as I said before. But uh, if the cards are going well enough, you don't want to have like the cherry jalapeno wave because the cherry jalapeno they will miss the zombies on the side, and the zombies on the side, as, as I said before, are the most threatening zombies. So you want to hit the side well enough. So just like in when it spawns very quickly, like when you don't have anything available, use cherry jalapeno. But when it when everything's in control, I will reserve the cherry jalapeno and continue to use ice and doom. And also trade how they are very expensive. The mushrooms they are very cheap at night. Also fume shrooms, they can be cannon fodders while deal dealing massive damage. Yeah as you can see the temple here is pretty stable so there's no need for trade how you know. And if you want you can stall the footballs on the side but it's not a must because the footballs they won't immediately kill anything. And the only zombies left are the normal goblin boards. I'm pretty sure I can stall them, maybe, maybe not. I'm not very confident, so I'm going to use an extra ice. Because you can see these goblin boards, they are not hit. And they, they don't even have a scar on its head before I use ice. So I'm going to stall them just to play safe. And you have to stall them accurately, and whenever you are not confident, just use ice or use instant. Because like losing a losing a pumpkin just to save instant is pretty stupid. The pumpkin costs 125. I'm sure that giga will die before smashing the pumpkin. Sometimes the pumpkin towards they are kind of extreme, so you they're kind of like just precisely will precisely die before reaching the pump the pumpkin. So whenever you're unsure, you can put a doom or put a squash or put instance because instance they're a lot cheaper than the pumpkins the only uh, downside of them is that they recharge slowly final wrap up uh, let's see when where can i put squash maybe it seems like i cannot put squash anywhere but uh first use cherry to bomb one side maybe row five and the next uh you can see the ice show disappearing and here there is no zombie blocking that that squash, so I'm going to put squash here and then freeze the bungees, although the bungees are blocked by the umbrella leaf. And lastly, after you see everything frozen, is it can... So these golden boards are bombed. And did the squash squash everything? It doesn't seem so because I, c I can only see one imp here, but there are more than one giga. So I would choose, you can choose to squash again after that squash has recharged. 
but I will choose just to stall them to level 3 DPS. Maybe I'll choose to squash them again, because that squash is going to recharge pretty quickly. I'll just squash again. I don't think this will miss again. Yeah, because squash and recharge is pretty fast. And for row 6, I have hit it with Cherry Bomb and Doom. Uh, they should all die. And just to play safe, you, you may want to stall it one more time, but it's not a must. Yeah, so that squash is, a, is about to recharge the next time we are going to use it. And it's pretty good. You can see, slow tempo is pretty stable, uh, as long as we can control everything with uh, Doom Ice Doom. So that sequence will basically crush every zombies. And if not, I'll just add a Cherry Jalapeno. And if not, I'll just like, add a Fume Gloom uh, Cannon Fodder. Anyway, there are a lot of ways of playing it. And then for fast tempo, because in Fog you cannot store ice, so it's not per it's not very possible to perfectly suppress the jacks. So what we do is to again as radio clock, we suppress one row and ignore the other. Uh, just dump all of our instants I choose here to dump them on row two, and ignore row five because row five we have that winter island here to splash damage the jacks as much as possible. So the chance of jacks exploding is not very high. And also, I'll add an extra buffer fume on row five to just kill Jax, uh, just to kill Jax as much as possible. I would say our sequence will be card five: uh, Doom enters ice, ice, and then uh, there's nothing. The Doom doesn't recharge, so we'll use Jalapeno on row two, and then Cherry also on row two. So if you only have one Cato, you may want to like combine, maybe to add like Jalapeno between two ices to have like to prevent the balloon zombies from going to your house but since here we have two two cattails you don't need to worry too much about it okay that's a classic fast tempo uh, we just bring our normal cars but we don't need any cannon fodders and we don't need squash because those are against the the gigas we bring fume and gloom for error tolerance we add a fume here as a buffer because uh, just to kill Jack as much as possible, because we dump our, all of our instants on row two and ignore row five, and it's good practice to reserve a crater, a spot for cherry bomb on the pool for on row three. So I will prioritize using Doom on these spots, uh, but just reserve this for cherry bomb. For the first wave, we're going to use Doom, but we can keep the timing by about like four seconds. One, two. Because you know the earliest jack, they explode like 5.5 seconds. Uh, so like if you if you use doom like four at four seconds, uh, the early jacks still won't explode. So we want to delay the time as much as possible. Ice. And the next wave we will use jalapeno. That fume can pretty much protect itself from the zombies. For Jalapeno, you can also delay the, the timing. Cherry Bomb. I prefer putting it in the pool to make it hit less zombies, so we can also delay the timing. And that doom seems to be a little late, but it's okay. As, as long as you don't hear the jacks explode, you can put it. <laughs> but that, that's not a good practice but <laughs> because uh, in fog you, you cannot store ice so that's a disadvantage so if something accident happens it's not going to be good but since we bring the fume and gloom sea packet it's going to be okay and ice is also a little late and also when putting jalapeno don't let the jacks bomb it Otherwise, it's gonna be pretty stupid. That fume died, but it doesn't matter. That's the last wave. Wrap up. For wave 10, we're going to bring with begin with immaterial ice, I think. And then normal ice should recharge and then have you know cherry. Because we need to freeze the bungees. 
So when putting inventory eyes, just put it immediately when you hear the new wave response. That will freeze the bungees and the jacks properly. And then actually, wave 11 will use normal eyes as wave 11. And wave 12, jalapeno. Wave 12, jalapeno. Ah. Ah, that's pretty scary. Wave 13, cherry bomb. Ah, whoa, 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 that, that, that gloom actually died, but it doesn't matter because we have the gloom seed packet. And I don't think we even need to fix that gloom because the early jack, they won't hit the gloom here. So... Mm, it's a good question of whether or not to fix that gloom. I don't want to fix it right now because uh, the the jacks cannot usually cannot kill the gloom here. So I'm I think I'm going to be fine. I would say. And then without that gloom, the tempo is also going to be slower. So wave 14 use is that wave 14 use doom, and then enter ice. That doom timing should be later, but it doesn't matter. And then just normalize because without that, without that uh, gloom here, the tempo is gonna be slower. And I should have put the gloom uh, maybe on here because then I will have no spot in the pool for cherry bomb. We're just going to maintain with that structure, and at the very end of the wrap up, we're going to put the gloom back. How do you know? The advantage of jalapeno plus cherry is that even if you don't have a spot in the pool for the jalapeno, you can still put cherry here because the jalapeno burns ice stroke for cherry. I wait for the jacks to explode and then you can see air jacks they can only take out the pumpkin but not the And that should be wave 19. So wave 19 I want to reserve a row of zombies, to not let the zombies get be bombed too quickly. So if I put that doom in the pool, the zombies are going to die quickly and it's going to wrap up quickly. So I will put the doom here. Save more zombies. And I can fix that gloom by the way. And at the final wrap up, hopefully the pumpkin should recharge. Maybe I should wait because I shouldn't have used the pumpkin, but it doesn't matter. It should recharge. You can see here we we save a row of zombies to delay some time for all of our cars to recharge and our sun to regenerate. So, uh, final wrap up. Just use ice. I would prefer to use normal ice because if you use Im because like typically we begin with doom and emitter ice, so the normal ice will have more time to recharge. If you use emitter eyes, that emitter eyes won't, may not have enough time to recharge the next time you're going to use it. For normal eyes, they don't have that problem. Fix the pumpkin and everything should, should be okay. Like we, we lose a gloom, but you see our sun only decreases by like 200. So it's not a big problem at all. And also for slow tempo and some easy levels, you're going to gain a lot of sun. So yeah, our sun actually only decreases by 25, I believe. If, if I start at 8,000. So for fast tempo, just uh, ignore row 5. Uh, if Jack explodes, just you can just ignore row 5 completely. Uh, otherwise, it's, be it's better to add a fume here to kill Jacks as much as possible, although you see it doesn't work this time, but it should work most of the time. And don't use Doom in the pool for the last wave. And that should be it. And also, if there, are, if there are footballs, you can pretty much suppress the temple within card 4, so mm, there, there shouldn't be problems.